Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today, little body work. A little crack here. The crack comes from here to there. So if you don't want to crack it further, you have to uh, address it. So uh, that's for today. So enjoy the video. So first of all, um, if we examine it, it's not only at this side, but also here. So I have to address it. So we will tape this off, put some uh, paper on it. So I have taped it all off with paper, I uh, have to do some things here. So, the window is not exposed. When, because you, when you weld, you don't want any hot stuff on your windows. That will burn in. So, now I have to clean it, but I cannot go aggressively because um, I need to... Uh, keep as much metal as I can it will be difficult here in the corners yeah I know some will say sandblast it but I will go now for uh, another method to see how that goes so I use from 3m again the Rolock Bristol disc this one is the less aggressive one Let's see how that goes. As you can see, it only took the paint away, not the metal. That's what we want to keep the thickness of the metal. Now uh, you see the crack goes to here, to here. So um, the crack here to there, and it goes up here to there, and a T-shape like that. If you just weld it, it will break further. So we have to drill some holes at the places that cracks. So um, I will do that after. I tried to clean this one here. So let's try this little tool again. Okay. Well. That went well, so uh, yeah, now we can drill holes. Just a tiny drill, drill bit, so we search for the end of the crack. That goes up here. Now you're asking why I'm drilling those holes. Well, if you have a crack, if it comes to that round circle, 
and you just have two pieces of metal and it's cracking here, it goes further, it wants to go further. So if you just weld that, if you have just one spot missed and it will crack again. So if you drill a hole at the end of the crack, the crack ends here and it cannot go any further because it's a circle. So it's, it cannot push to one side there or there. It has to be straight, so you break that line. So therefore I drill holes in it. I see that in the, in the past, they must hit something here because this is a little bit pushed in. So I will try to knock that a little bit back in after I have welded. But now we still have rust here. Um, I'll try to do that with uh, a little machine here. I know we still have rust in the crack, but with the welding procedure it will uh, be good again. The only worries I have, I have to burn deep enough when I go over it to clean it up. It's straight in this gap here. So this is a line here that I have to keep on. So. Let's uh, start with welding. So as I mentioned it, uh, for this one I have to be very precurious. Go very easy on it. Let's start here. And uh, the greatest deal is to let it cool off enough so it will not warp. Yeah, problems again with the mass. Now I'm going to degrease it. We just primer that's all nothing more than that it has to be clean put it on I just go over the line where the trim is Here we go. Don't go too thick the first time. Just spray it over.
So as you could see, I have cleaned it up, drilled holes from the beginning of the crack and the end of the crack, so it will not crack further. Um, I weld it on, and then I clean it up. And now I have a straight line here. Now I'm going to paint it in uh, primer, clean that up, uh, do it uh, with uh, sandpaper, uh, 160, and then uh, we do another primer layer to see how it fits. Then normally the black uh, paint on it, so uh, let's paint this. It don't have to be beautiful because I will sand it down until I have still the black paint. We'll paint it over with the black and then afterwards with the detailing I will uh, uh, do it with sandpaper, 2000 grit, 3000, 4000 and then we'll see how it comes out. So. Uh, here we come with the primer. So we will hit this with a heater, so it will dry a little bit faster. Like I said, it don't have to be pretty. Now I have to grind it down until I see paint. And then we will see how we do on the back here. Just go gently. Third layer is a little bit thicker. Fourth layer, I go a little bit slower. You can feel it when it becomes really sticky. Now you see, it's getting sticky again. Last layer, that's the biggest one. Okay. That's normally okay now to remove. Yeah, I have to do a little bit more before I do this one. So yeah, it will get in your face now. This is painted now. Um, it has uh, some debris in it, yes, but I can all buff it out. And where the paint was, it goes a little bit further, so that's okay. I can buff that out also. So if you do that with a little bit of sandpaper, very thin, 3000, 4000 grit, then you can take that out. Even all the rest here. I have to clean that up with detailing, so uh, it will look very nice again. So this is done and um, I'm very happy with the outcome. So uh, yeah, the rest is detailing, it has to dry, uh, cure for a few weeks. That's the negative point with 1K, but that's the paint I want. Uh, 2K is easy, yeah, I know, but um, if I just have to do one spot like this, I can throw away 10 cans of paints and uh, I don't want that. So uh, this is the end result and um, I'm very happy. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, share, and if you can do, do that, 
So subscribe, like, share it, uh, click on that notification bell so you will be notified when uh, there is a new video on YouTube. So um, thank you very much and see you on the next episode of uh, the restoration of Phoenix. Bye bye and uh, take care. Thank <laughs> you.